This is a 57-year-old woman presenting with the main complaint of repeated abscess episodes caused by her maxillary left first molar. A periapical radiograph showed that a mesial amalgam was fractured and displaced, with a large recurrent caries penetrating the pulp. The pulp chamber was occupied by extensive pulp stones. Abundant periodontal calculus could be discerned and a periapical radiolucency was present. The pulp did not respond to sensibility tests. The palatal cusp of the second premolar was fractured, but each pulp responded normally to tests. Scaling with ultrasound was performed and the patient instructed to proper oral hygiene. Root canal treatment of the first molar was scheduled. After isolation, the residual restorative materials were drilled out and the carious tissue removed. Pus was seen draining from the exposed pulp chamber. The pulp chamber roof was removed with ultrasonic tips. The voluminous pulp stone occupying the chamber was dislodged and removed. and the pulp chamber debrided. The orifice of MB2 was located and prepared. Working length was established at the apical constriction with an electronic apex locator and confirmed radiographically. The canals were instrumented and medicated with chemically pure calcium hydroxide mixed with sterile saline. The access was temporized with IRM. At the second visit, a week later, the patient reported no postoperative pain and the tooth was comfortable. Preliminarily, four selected good aperture points were immersed in 80% alcohol for disinfection. Prophylaxis was accomplished with a brush and a prophylactic paste. The tooth was isolated with a rubber dam. Field disinfection followed. The rubber dam, the tooth and the clamp were disinfected with 30% H2O2. followed by sodium hypochlorite. This is a modification of the disinfection protocol proposed by Muller. Okay. 
the temporary restorative material was removed and the field re-disinfected. Calcium hydroxide was removed with abundant irrigation with sodium hypochlorite. Needles of different sizes were used. Ultrasonic agitation to improve removal of calcium hydroxide from the canals. Good aperture points were dried on a sterile gauze. and tried in the canals. The canals were finally dried with sterile paper points. and filled with a pre-mixed bioceramic sealer and single cones. The tooth was restored and a follow-up taken after one and a half year reveals the healing of the apical periodontitis lesion.